Hi, I'm Dr. Joni Liu, and I'm back with another Cosmic Tidbit. Last time, I was talking about sunshine and how I encourage you all to go outside and get some sun exposure. Now, they keep trying to tell you that, you know, it affects you, that it's going to harm you. But let's face it, without the sun, we wouldn't have life on this earth. So the statistics say that skin cancer has written eight times since the 1980s. Well, that's kind of interesting considering how many people, how many more people are using sunscreen and avoiding the sun. And in fact, the studies are showing that the people who are actually getting skin cancer are in fact the people who are avoiding the sun and also wearing sunscreen. And, you know, there's people out there that are telling you that you should be wearing them all year round, even in the dead of winter, really. <laughs> so I always find it very disturbing when I see such pale people walking around in the summer. I find it disturbing when I see people coming back from a tropical holiday pale. Okay, and they look sick. Pale does not equal health. Pale means that they are afraid of something and they are afraid of the sun. So what's important here is to realize that the medical system that we have today is not about health care. It is about obedience. Okay, so you have to figure that over the last few years that everything has been about obedience. They wanna know just how easy it is to lead you to bad information. The sun gives you health. A tan protects you from any damage, okay? I mean, you just have to use some common sense, but also there is no correlation between a sunburn and uh, a greater chance at skin cancer either. So remember, your MD never uses the word heal. The word heal and cure never passes through their lips. So what are they there for, really? Okay, ask your question. Ask that question. I'll be back with another Cosmic Tidbit. See you again next time. Bye.